All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the diagonal lashing. Uh, what the diagonal lashing is good for is good for tying two poles together that are not at 90 degree angle. So let's say if second pole right here, this would be a great lashing for tying these two together because they're in an at X format right there. How we start off? We start off with our usual um, clove hitch knot. We have our wraps and our fraps that fall. So we start off by going under, making the X, just like that, and then taking our tail and putting the tail through the X and tying it like that. We have our second pull. And for this, we are going to go instead of we're gonna instead of going, you know, over and under and like we did in the last video, this time it's a little bit different. We are going to go um, side to side like this and then up and down like this. Okay. So for starters, we'll go we'll go side to side first. Gather my rope together in a big bundle like I do normally just so it's easy to pass around. There we go. Side to side first. So we're going to go like that. First one doesn't matter as far as tightness, as usual, but when it starts the second one, it really does start to matter. So, okay. Got that tightened down. Plant my finger on top of it so it's not uh, going to lose its tautness. You only have to do three or four for these because you're doing two different types of wraps. So I'm going to do three just for sake of brevity. And thus we have three. Give it a good pull. Okay. So now we get to go up and down. So we get to go, or rather, down and up, as this case would have it. Which we go through there, plant so that I don't lose my spot, and we come up. Like that. All right, let's scoot the rope down if I can. And we have to pull it taut just so we can get a good start. And we go under. Boom, we have our second one. And we have our third one. And make sure it's nice and tight. Just like that. Okay. So, we got finished with the wraps. Now we get to do the fraps. Just as last time. Put wrapping around all the different wraps we did. Um, just going around. All the pieces of rope, just like this. We have one there. Same thing, we only need three. Three to four. Three is good. We got one. We got two. And the wood is creaking, because I am putting so much stress on it. That's what we want. We got three. Okay. Now, say we end it the same way we started it. We put a clove hitch. And the way we do a clove hitch is we go like this. We go, we'll just do it on this side. Boom. Plant it there. Wrap it around. Wrap it around again. 
make sure the lines cross over like this and then grab our grab the tail of the, uh, the knot try not to lose tension there okay and I put it through both of them and pull and we pull and all my crazy tangly rope comes through and we finally get a clothes hitch knot there we go that looks more like it here we got our clove hitch and as you guys are probably guessing to end it off we just ratcheted it back which gives it a little bit more strength not too bad as far as a flex. Thank you for watching.